So I want to speak on this, this these peace talks in California. I just want to say say briefly that when the OGs are saying that there's no respect nor honor in what they're doing, those select few that insist on going against the grain, when the OGs, the, the very people who put it put it down, gave these gangs the reputations that they have, when they no longer have any respect for it, they have no respect for you for doing it. And it's very disrespectful to them who you get your names from, who you look up to, your big homies, your OGs. In many cases, the original members of these gangs, the originals that started it, when they're telling you no more, they're not impressed with it. Why would you push a line? When 99.99% are telling you otherwise, when, when most of them already been through the system and know what it's worth, know what they're sacrificing. And when you now know that there's no respect, that they don't care if you throw your life away, like you ain't getting no respect, you ain't getting no rep for that. Your rep is for going against the grain, for disrespecting the hood by going against what the majority wants. They'll learn their lesson. When they get ostracized from the hood and they can't attend functions and they're not welcome at the hood days no more, they'll get it. They'll get it. And for those that don't, that insist on pushing the line, let the system deal with them. All the crips in there have to do is smash on them if it comes to that. Isolate them in there and let them deal with that. Because the numbers ain't gonna favor them in there. There ain't no guns, there ain't no running, ain't no hide. You gonna run hide to PC. That's about it. And then what? Times have changed. There are those of us who've lived long enough through it all through these gang wars, through the prison system, through all that it's cost us. And, and the vast majority are trying to save even those people's lives who insist on throwing them away. While, while, while the greatest interest is in the, is in the kids because many are, see, some might be great grandfathers and grandfathers and fathers and mothers and grandmothers and great grandmothers of these children whose interest is for them to graduate, go on to college, be successful, be a surgeon, you know what I'm saying? Be be a president, you know what I'm saying? Be a billionaire, legit, put put the community on, be resourceful, be useful, be 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 worth the world. Because this is what's being sacrificed for the ignorance of those who don't want to see what they've been told their whole lives. And now they're hearing it from those very big homies that they look up to, they get their names from, who named the hoods what they're named. They go back that far to the origins of these very sets. It's in the best interest of everyone you know, not just the Cribs, Bloods, but all the gangs, man. You know what I mean? All of the gangs, because it's the same story no matter what. We've all repeated this cycle over and over. And if you ask, and if you ask the older, more reasonable people in every community, they're all going to say the same. We all just want a chance to live. You know, for those of us who are older or whatever, like, you know, we still have hope for better days and brighter days for even ourselves, that we ourselves can still be something in this world that's more than just that. And in many cases, people are. People are doing good where they are. But we can all go a lot further 
if we just put down the guns and stop killing each other. It's gotten us nowhere. It's cost us the lives of those that we love. It's cost us our liberty. And it's held so many people in perpetual fear of retribution, of a stray coming our way that's not even intended for us. And this is for the youth. Peace in the mouth.